Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about one of the endings that was originally supposed to appear in the Lost World Jurassic Park. This abandoned sequence would have featured a pretty brutal attack by a previously unseen flock of overtly violent pteranodons. So if you've been watching my channel for a while now, you'll know that I'm a pretty big fan of the second Jurassic movie. You'll also know that I often bring up that I've actually read through two of the nine drafts of the Lost World screenplay. And recently I actually got to read through a third draft that David Kett put up on his website. This one being the final version of the script that was used while they were shooting the movie. Now, the reason I bring all of this up is because it's actually kind of important to the scene that we're going to be going over today. You see, originally, in one of the earlier versions of The Lost World, the movie was actually supposed to end on a big surprise pteranodon attack, one that would kind of come out at the very last minute while all of the remaining survivors were still fighting off velociraptors in the worker village. At first, the filmmakers didn't really know how they wanted to execute this pteranodon attack, but they knew that they definitely wanted it to go down in the movie. At one point in time, Ajay and some of the other hunters were actually supposed to jump down from the cliff that was on the edge of the long grass where the raptors killed a whole bunch of people. There we would see them eject these elaborate paracel gliders that would help them travel down to the operations building. You can actually still see remnants of this idea in the final cut, where Roland explains how difficult it will be to, quote, climb down to the worker village. The operations building is right down in there, about a mile and a half from the base of these cliffs. How do you know that? I've seen it. Now the climb down won't be easy. We'll let them sleep one more hour. And then we hit it. Anyways, once those guys jumped from the cliffs, they were immediately going to be torn apart by an angry flock of pteranodons. Ajay himself getting killed in a way so bad that Sarah Harding was forced to look away. However, all this stuff would eventually get tossed aside for a new idea in which the remaining gatherers would actually come across the pteranodons while they were trying to get away from the raptors in the actual worker village. There it would be revealed that the operations building was actually the reptile's nesting site once they find a guano-like substance around the place. Not too dissimilar to what happens for the birdcage scene in JP3. Now of course, this version of the pteranodon ending wouldn't be anywhere near as brutal, however it would actually show us the animals for the first time in the entire film series, and in a way that genuinely feels like it would be pretty thrilling. That being said, I actually think that they made the right decision by giving this whole pteranodon scene the axe. And that's mainly because when you actually read the drafts of the Lost World that feature these things, they kind of come out of nowhere with no real buildup or suspense leading to their introduction. In other Jurassic Park movies, when an elaborate set piece with a new dinosaur attack starts to unfold, you usually will have hints or a kind of big reveal that explains to you why this animal is to be feared. In The Lost World, we don't actually see the compies hurting Kathy Bowman at the beginning, so we're left in suspense as to what really happened. But then when Dieter gets attacked, we see these little guys can be kind of terrible to people. Same thing can be said with the foreshadowing of animals like the Indominus Rex, the Indoraptor, and even the Velociraptors in the first Jurassic Park. However, these Pteranodons? They just kind of show up and start being a-holes. I think it would make more sense if there was like little moments where the camera panned up to see a silhouette flying in front of the moon, or where people felt like there was something in the trees watching them while they were on their trek, but in all the drafts of the Lost World I've read with the Pteranodon ending, they really do come out of nowhere, it's just suddenly there's Pteranodons, and you didn't even really know they were on the island before. That being said, the producers of The Lost World were understandably afraid of Steven Spielberg's decision to cut the animals out of the movie and move everything to San Diego, where we'd get a lot of dark comedy and silly over-the-top Godzilla slash King Kong tributes complete with self-referential winks to the audience. I mean, they actually had David Kep run towards the camera and get eaten. Jurassic Park 2 had the writer get eaten on film in the movie, and that's just one of the jokes in the whole San Diego sequence. Personally, I always liked that ending, but yeah, I will admit it totally is a radical departure from the super serious tone that we see play out while the story was on the island. It's like watching the ghost in the darkness, and then all of a sudden, the ending is the baby Godzilla scene from the 1998 movie. <laughs> But hey, that's what the Lost World is. 
Anyways guys, I'm curious to hear what all of you guys think about this deleted ending. Would you have preferred this to be the final action sequence? Or are you a bigger fan of the more larger-than-life city attack that we got in the final version? Whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video, and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.